Just a bloke in a bar. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to another episode of Bloke in a Bar or The Locker Room. I don't know what to call it. We've got the great Millie Boyle here. What should we call it? Bloke in a Bar or The Locker Room? Because you're an OG. You know about The Locker Room. I do know about The Locker Room. Thanks for having me. Um, but I really think Bloke in a Bar has stuck and um, it's iconic now. It's Bloke in a Bar. Iconic? Yeah. That's big raps. It is. I'll take it. It's big raps. Yeah, I don't get many it. raps. I don't get many, so I'll take it. When I get it, I'll take it. But uh, Millie Boyle obviously played for the Brisbane Broncos that have won three premierships in a row. You also play for Australia and New South Wales. Um, you guys are going into camp tomorrow, correct? Yes, into camp tomorrow, mm. into Sydney, a couple of days in Homebush, and then uh, we're going to head up to the sunny coast mm. where we play next Friday night. What's the but? Like, obviously, I'm assuming when you watch Origin the boys' origin, it makes you just like, I just want to fucking get out there, you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, it's sick. Like, I've been, uh, and all of us have grown up watching origin and, um, you know, knowing how important it is and how much of a big game it is. And even mm. people that don't watch footy watch origin Absolutely. because they just feel as though they need to. Mm. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it's so exciting to be a part of it and um, just have a little bit of that, um, uh, the iconicness of rugby league, yeah. I guess it's, it's cool too because, like, you get to, you know, as fans, you watch it and you can't really do anything about it. Whereas, like, you girls get to go out and, you know, you feel the passion whilst watching it, but you get to get your own game as well and actually do something about that kind of the love for it. You know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. It's like, okay, we get to put on a blue jersey, represent mm. our disgusting, state. Disgusting, disgusting. That blue jersey <laughs> is absolutely disgusting. <laughs> yeah, no, training in uh, the centre of it, like over at, um, at Homebush mm. and, you know, see all the photos on the wall and hear yep. all of the stories and uh, see where they train. And it's it's just awesome to be around and, yeah, like I said, just to be a part of it. But mm. um, And seeing that the what they're producing now, you know, with their game the other week, it's mm. just, it's, yeah, it's, it's awesome. Did, what, what did you think of the game? Did you, did, obviously, I don't think anyone expected 50 to fucking six. Nah. <laughs> but w what were your thoughts on the game? Did, where did you think it was won for New South Wales? Um, oh, I think last year, obviously, coming off the back of um, COVID and, and it was at the end of the season and everyone's mm. at different states. And I think picking a team, obviously, predominantly with those Penrith players and in the halves, mm. um, you know, they're coming out of playing such good footy yeah. and it's like fresh straight out of like they're, they're hitting their straps straight away. There yep. was no like waiting or I'm um, in an R and it wasn't at the end of the season. Everyone's ready to go, but obviously did not expect that 50 to four, but I think everyone just played so good. Honestly, like, it was everyone. crazy. It was like even as a Queensland fan, it was even like as a Queensland fan, you couldn't help but be like, wow, yeah, what a performance. It. It. Yeah. Uh, unbelievable. And you're totally right. Like, the, the negative of last year for New South Wales is when you're picking all these players from teams that make the finals, they, you, the argument could be made that they were more fatigued than some of the Queensland guys that had a few weeks just to freshen themselves up a bit. Um, you know, then the flip side of that would be, well, they hadn't been playing, so they're not match fit. But some, something did happen last year, and I don't know whether that had an effect, but it, you, you could argue that it, that it did. Um, but what a game. What an incredible game. So what's, what's the feel like going into an origin camp? And origin... Um, it's also the most viewed for you guys as well. Yeah, most it's, a, game. it's a big game and yep. it's good that people tune in and mm. it's on obviously an ov a different night than the men's mm. so it like gives people something to do on another night, you mm. know, then might not be as entailed to... Um, Is it a Friday night? Early night? Yeah, it's next Friday night. Yep. Um, so it's not before, it's not anything, it's just our own game, which is mm. really cool. It's at a small stadium, so mm. it's a really cool atmosphere. Yep. Um, but yeah, it's really, uh, yeah, I just love camp. And I, it's it's girls, I'm from, obviously, I live in Queensland now, but yep. it's girls that I don't get to see that often, I don't get to play with. Yeah. Um, so it's a really special time to come in and um, just see everyone and uh, have good banter around the girls and stuff. Speak really to me, good. who's the loosest chick? The loosest chick like, on our team. Yes, probably apart from yourself, I'm assuming. Yeah, no. Well, <laughs> I'm going to go with uh, Keely Davis. Keely she Davis. She's um, one of my good friends. Utility. I, she's a utility she's blonde a utility, girl. Utility yep. blonde. Um, loves the little eyelashes, mm -hmm. you know, loves getting ready for the games. She's actually loves Bloke in the Bar. She is obsessed with the old. No, podcast. I know who she is. I know she's a, she's a gun. She's a gun. Yeah. She's uh, she plays. She played 14 last year, I think. Yep, played 14. She actually didn't play last year. She um, Really? fell off a chair a couple of days before the game and it was messed up. She 14 fell for Australia though? Yeah, 14 for Australia. Okay, she fell apologies. Off a chair, couldn't actually like move. It was hectic. She fell off a chair? Yeah, backwards. The back just like cut out. So she went backwards. Yeah. And um, yeah, she... Uh, and what, concussion or? Oh no, like sorry, all these like nervy stuff and couldn't no bend way. over. She's a hooker. Like she needs to bend over and tackle. Wow. That's what she needs to do. 
14, she played 14 for the nines then. Was it the nines? Yeah, the she, 14, that's her, that's her like. Like she's a utility. She's a utility. And she's down from down level. like Wollongong-ish yeah, way. Yeah, Wollongong. Yep. Yeah. Um, no, I, I think she's a gun. Yeah, uh, no, but she's crazy. We so she's the crazy one. Yeah, she's crazy. What about on the beers? On the beers, God. I mean, all the vodka raspberries, yeah, I, I, mean, I don't whatever know, whatever, whatever, drink, whatever it is. You know? I love a vodka raspberry. I mean, who doesn't? Honestly, you know what? When people give in, like I own a beer, but <laughs> the two blokes on a roof of the cruiser, I tell you what, on day two, sometimes beer go down like fucking razor blade. You need a bit of lolly <laughs> water in there. Um, so yeah, who, who's the, the loosest on the, like, is, do you do bonding nights or that? Or is that done? We do, we do. No, yeah. well, I guess it, like it's hard because I'm obviously, I play with a lot of the Queensland girls. Yeah, okay. Um, I'd say if I'm going back, to Queensland, mm. like within my like Broncos and whatnot, yeah. it'd be Tamika Upton. She Tamika is, Upton. yeah, like she can sink beers like <laughs> no tomorrow. She could out drink my dad. Like, really? Yeah. Wow. She is. Um, she loves it. Loves it. Got to get her a case she's of local bar. You know, she's just. I tell you what, small town girl. If you get her address, I'll send her a case of local bar. I am doing that. She lives with me, so I'll. Oh, <laughs> I'll does she really? My housemate. <laughs> it's like she needs ten cases. <laughs> she needs 10 cases. <laughs> um, send them up. Okay, well, sweet. Give me your address, and I'll <laughs> I'll send them up to you. Um, what's the so last you use one last year's? Didn't you New South Wales? No, it was it was cancelled. Que- sorry. Yeah, the, the, no, the, no. The, Queensland won last year. We won the year before and the year before. Okay, and and was the what, what was the year where you had like a, a substantial? It was 2019. We had pretty substantial mm. turnout. A lot of young yeah. girls that come out. Yeah, there was like. It was at um, North Sydney Oval, so yes, okay. it was sold out, which was pretty cool. There was that's over, crazy. Yeah, it was, there was over 10,000 people there. I remember watching that just going, that's amazing. Yeah, it was honestly so sick. Like, yeah. I remember it was like a really surreal kind of thing. I remember um, back in Cabago, I mm. mean, there was a game. There was, I think it was Storm Raiders. They mm. came and um, – this is taking it back – I was in high school. They came and played like a trial game down mm. in Bega. Yep. And everybody, it's like the talk of the town. Everyone goes down. I remember going onto the field and like getting photos with like Cameron Smith, yep. Billy Slater, Cooper Cronk. Like me and Cameron Smith are the best mates now. I know. We I have know. a show. It's whatever. It's whatever. We're best mates. He's amazing. Do you want me to say anything to him? Um, actually, I've spoken to him a couple of times, so I'm pretty but sure like, we're best friends. Yeah, I know. But like I'm close with him. You know what I mean? Like currently close. Like I yeah, know you I kind of know him, but if there's any messages okay, you want to pass on, you let me know. Always, I will let you know. <laughs> um, no. But he's um, actually up on Goldie now, so yep. yeah, I love your love your show with him. It's amazing. He's it's incredible. Awesome. He like some of the shit he says. I'm like, bruh, that's why you're the goat, man. Like, how do you I think know. of that? What shit? was it you were saying the other day? It was like the captain. The Cameron show. Oh, yeah, like the last episode. Yeah. I was like, I was welcome like, back to the Cam- the Cameron's run. Cameron's run. And then what was crazy, we went to break and I was <laughs> like, the, the producer, before before we went to break for that one, the producer's like, mate, you're getting all the, the radio stuff. It's improved so much, like, well done. And then we come back and I was like, welcome back to the Cameron's run. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, fuck, we did. Um, uh, so, so, so you remember obviously being on the field, getting a photo with all yeah, that? Yeah, running onto the field after the game and like seeing all those amazing players mm. and just thinking how cool it was yeah um and then to you know playing at um north sydney oval and after the the, the game had finished and we'd won which was mm. really cool like i remember all these people running out and at the start you're like oh they're like this is like token people are running onto the field because yeah. we're girls and like yeah. oh, do you know what i mean i'm like oh i'm a bit of a real well, you always gotta way. you gotta like always gotta like because it's put there you kind of have to you acknowledge have to, it yeah and, but if it, in, in saying that, like, it's still happening. No, yeah. yeah. And, yeah. That, well, like, it took me, like, a little while to realise, but I was yeah. like, these are young girls running. Like, they were all girls. Like, yeah. And there was guys, as, like, little boys as well, yeah. but girls in their footy jerseys mm. and in their club jerseys and girls that play footy or tag or league or yeah. whatever it is. Um, and they're coming up and, like, wanting a photo or getting to sign something. And I was like, so hey, good. actually, this is pretty cool because I – remember doing this but I thought I'll never obviously be able to do this yeah. because I'm not going to be Cameron Smith or yeah. do you know what I mean? I mean I'm you're not close. Going <laughs> I've seen some highlights. <laughs> <laughs> I don't pass. <laughs> <laughs> I neither do I. I, I was fucking winger. Um, <laughs> but yeah, no. Like I know that what you mean re- though. That yeah. was really cool and mm. it was like, okay, they're actually thinking that they could probably do this when they're older, which they totally it's can. It's incredible, it's, yeah. It was really cool. What's uh, like... Uh, Whenever I speak to someone about the women's game, it's, it's such an interesting thing that even if you think that you're very open to new things or whatever, even growing up, like I didn't even think about the fact that most women when I was growing up, which was the 1960s, um, <laughs> <laughs> no, um, but when I was growing up, I didn't even think about the benefit I had as a guy that professional sport was a, a, an avenue. 
I didn't even think about a lot of the girls that didn't even, that wasn't any, oh, we just can't, can't do that. Like, yeah. it's just not a thing for us. Um, and so I just think it's so great that you, you're right. Like, those young girls, when in 20 years' time, and I'll be sitting here with a beard, grey as anything, probably interviewing <laughs> them. The old, the, I'll be the old loser. He's so cringe. I'll be the cringe guy. Fuck. You won't be the cringe guy. I'll be the cringe guy. I'll be the old guy hanging on saying shit like lit, lit, swag. <laughs> Lit swag. You can even say that now. Yeah, but but I'll be trying You're to be cool. I'll be like Liddy swag. <laughs> fucking, um, it's the jersey for me. That kind of shit on Instagram. <laughs> and they'll be like, "Who is this fucking old weirdo?" Anyway. Oh um, god. So that was 2019. Yeah, that was 2019. Was that one of your, I guess, favorite moments? Yeah, I think it was. That was. Um, yeah, I was playing a lot, of, a lot of rugby at the time as mm. well, and I don't think rugby gets a lot of. <laughs> anything yeah no, <laughs> viewers watchers players no, it's crazy it's, <laughs> it's to think how far yeah it's it's it, it used down. to be pinnacle yeah. yeah um and now you wouldn't even know like people wouldn't even know a rugby player like in a wallaby if yeah, they pass them in so the street true. like that's so true not in not only a, a club player like mm. yeah a wallaby just, like that's our national that's, team yeah, that used to be icons to us yeah yeah um, it's, um it sucks because it is when when rugby's played well it's beautiful to watch yeah but it also can just be like very slow. Oh, like man. I remember yeah. watching the, I went to the Reds um, and Brumbies grand final mm. and like league are doing all of these things to speed the game up and making it quicker and mm. refing's changed and everything. And there's a lot of debate about whether it's good or not. But yeah. then I went back and watched a game of rugby and they don't change anything about rugby. Crazy. Like no wonder why people aren't watching the game. Mm. It takes like five minutes for the ball to get out from a, yep. From a scrum or from a mall or I, I don't know. I don't understand why it seems obvious to me, like don't make kicking so important. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like no one comes to footy to watch a game of ping pong. Yeah, to watch kicking. Yeah. That's it. like I, I never understand even with rugby league, like don't get me wrong, field goal is fine and I understand the argument for the field goal, but I always loved golden try. Yeah. Because like we why would we decide the Did game by a by a field goal, which isn't why we watch footy. We no. watch it for the try. Anyway, that's that's. The I agree. There. I agree. Um, and then well, rugby is like kick it to the fullback, kick it to the yeah. fullback, kick it to the fullback. Everyone's just standing in the middle waiting for someone to kick it out yeah. to go to a line out. I just I never understood that, but it is, it is what it, it is. is. I mean, it is an international game, so that's it. Um, so take us back to a, a young Millie, um, born down s- the south coast. Yep. South just coast, near Bega. Didn't near Bega. Yeah. A place called Cabago. Cabago. Yep. Um, yeah, grew up in Cabago. I'm one of five kids, yeah. so I have an older brother, three little sisters. So older brother, 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 brother. is um, Morgan Boyle. Yep, and he's with Manly at the moment. He's with Manly. Mm. He um, he's been there for a couple of years. Mm. Kind of warming that bench, yeah. you know, <laughs> just being there for support. <laughs> no, he's doing all right. He's he's injured at the moment. Yep, he's okay. Just had surgery, so. Um, so did he get injured? So because he's obviously, I think he's played like what, 20, 30 games, you'd say. I wish I knew. Really? Probably. <laughs> Total collective minutes, one game. No, okay. um, a couple of games. <laughs> no, sorry, please don't listen to this um, No, he's, um, look, it wasn't the best start of the year for him. Yeah. Um, he got injured round four. They were getting pumped by like 50 points every game, I think. Yeah. Worst um, start. It was the worst start to a season uh, outside of 2002 Cowboys since the start of the NRL. Great stat. Yeah. Crazy. Great stat, bad start um, for the for Manly. But yep. um, no, so he got injured round four, getting pumped 50 points. And then, you know, Tommy Turbo comes back round six. Like, he's, a, he's awesome. But, like, then they start putting 50 points on teams. Was it Morgan getting injured in round four <laughs> or was it Tommy coming back round six? I don't know because they started to go well round five, six. You know you what? Know. We, need, we need to investigate know, no. this shit. Because is it Morgan Boyle actually being injured that has <laughs> created this monster that is manly? Yeah. And Tom Javoyevich is getting all the raps. I know. Like, <laughs> no, like, no, not taking anything away from Tommy. The He's great Tommy. obviously yeah. unreal. But I think it's got to be a combination <laughs> of the both, surely. <laughs> you know what? You would know better. Than, it's your brother. You know. Yeah. You know. Okay. Well, you know, let us know. If, if there's anyone that could <laughs> deeply dive into the stats, <laughs> is it Morgan Boyle? Sacrificing himself <laughs> by not playing. And, actually and <laughs> is Morgan the reason they're going so good right now? <laughs> so, the, well, you know what he? You know what? I've, I've got his stats up. Forty-seven NRL games. <laughs> there you go. More than me. He's actually. He's more of an NRL player than me. Close to, does it say total minutes there? 
Uh, <laughs> it does have total minutes. It does have, but forty-seven. That's more 47. than me. Forty-seven. Forty-seven. One yeah. try. Yep. One, one try. try. That was actually for the Titans. Oh really? Not for Manly. Yep. Um, fuck, that's hilarious. Great moustache on the man. Does he still have the moustache? He does. Yeah. He's Great kind moustache. of let himself go a bit. He's got <laughs> this terrible beard that he can't grow. A moustache. He's got like a bit of weight on him. He's not <laughs> doing too well at the moment. He's just come out of surgery. So he's like, whatever, I'll just look shit and feel <laughs> shit until I can start training. Then I'm going to get ripped and I'm going to get like a nice <laughs> haircut and stuff. So Mate. whatever whatever makes you happy, Morgan. Mate, look, he just had a kid, so I'm sure he's he happy. Did. Yeah. Little Freddie. He gets to spend some time with Freddie. So that's awesome. Um, okay, so obviously who like growing up footy was footy always something that you wanted to pursue or did it take a few years to I guess realize that it was an avenue for you yeah so like I played when I was like five mm. in just like the, the boys teams whatever yeah. like um it was obviously something I always wanted to do and I played up until I was 12 because that's mm. when we were allowed to I remember playing a game with um, my brother's team. It was like under 14s. I think yep. my dad was coaching. So you played up a year? I played up only for this like one game because okay. they needed someone. And yep. he's like, Millie, you can come on the come on the bench. And I was so excited. I was like, yeah, here we go. Under 14s, honestly, first run got absolutely pumped. Like <laughs> these guys are like 14 year olds. I was probably 11. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh God, footy's not for me. I'm done. Yeah, yeah. Like there's no, um, there's no, room in this game for me yeah, and yeah. that was kind of like a good reality shock to be like <laughs> yeah see ya yep. um and then like morgan kept playing and making like rep teams and stuff i was mm. like whatever i'll just go and play whatever i can I, yeah. I just played other sports and um picked up rugby union in high school mm. i literally have never watched a game of rugby union really never watched it no didn't really know about it yeah um, but we played in like all these tournaments around like canberra and sydney and whatnot mm. and um, kind of, kind of got picked up through there and just kept playing rugby union until literally 2019. I started back playing wow. um, rugby league. And so, and so this, so 2019. Well, okay, we'll take it back even further. Who was your team growing up? It was actually the Melbourne Storm. It's how I don't <laughs> explain to me. I actually don't give me I a reasonable explanation th- how not, a team in Melbourne <laughs> is your team. It's not reasonable, but they always won, and I'm like. I'm, doing, I'm jumping on the bandwagon. <laughs> so you're officially a bandwagon Officially fan. a bandwagon. But like from day one, yeah. that was my first team that I went for. So like... But bad reasons. Can't you choose a team It's got to be blood. It's got to be in your DNA, surely. I mean, I could... I did go for the Raiders. Like we've got some family ties there. But oh, so you changed. So now, now no, we're getting... No, I was okay. just doing that for family support. Oh, uh, okay. Like, sorry, Melbourne beat them. So like then I was like straight <laughs> up. <laughs> so what year did you start supporting the Storm? Um... I was definitely in primary school. Yeah. Like, that's when, like, I remember when they came to the Oval and played at Vega. I was like, Also, oh oh, was God. that the re- like, seeing them play was the reason why, like, I, I want to support that team? I think I actually went for them before that. Okay. Okay. So, that would have been a big day for you. It was a big day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, that was, so, primary school, so what, we're talking, like, I was what, probably, like, 2000? Yeah, like, 12. So, no. year 2000 or something? Year 2005? Yeah. Probably something like around, that. Around there. Around so Because they won their first premiership 2007. No, wait. That would have meant that I was... Oh, yeah, okay. Five, Apologies. No. We're talking 2008, 2009 yeah, around yeah, there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry. Closer to... Just a fucking old guy sorry, doing a sorry, podcast. Sorry, sorry, um, sorry. It's like, wait, how old am I? <laughs> <laughs> My life's a lie. <laughs> I was actually fucking... Okay. Um, so around the 2008, 2009 era, and, and was it... Obviously, they were winning, but was it like Slater? Like, who was the player that really you really enjoyed watching? It was actually Cooper Cronk, which really? is so weird because he's a halfback. Mm. I don't even pass a ball. Yep. I play prop. Like, mm. I don't even know what it was, but like all of my friends, everybody knew I was obsessed with Cooper obsessed Croc. With Cooper Croc. <laughs> I don't want to say that. But <laughs> I used to like when Instagram came out, like upload photos of Cooper Cronk. <laughs> I know, like, like, as in for, like love as well? Like, as in like, like, I don't know, like fan page. I don't know. I don't <laughs> so you know. had a Cooper Cronk fan page? It wasn't a Cooper Cronk fan page, but it was like, I just I don't even know why it was so yeah, weird. No, but to be to be totally honest, like is Bloke in a Bar not a fan page of rugby league? Well, yeah, it is. You know, so you actually it's are the you. original Bloke in a Bar. <laughs> if we're being honest here, you were you were doing footy content yeah, way before look, me. It was when Instagram was new. I wasn't <laughs> sure. It was like I just screenshot photos from Google. I yeah. used to take photos of the television and upload them like me with Kevin Cronk. I can't believe I'm even saying this. Yeah, it was so weird. I don't know. With I know. Can we take that bit out? <laughs> no, please keep it. Can we please keep it? Obviously, we can take it out if you want, but that is gold. Oh Trust me, that God. is gold. There's like, 
Uh, there's probably so, still some on there. Really? Is, yeah. What's the name of the account? Millie underscore Boyle. I'm, oh, it's, it's your it's account? It's my account. So it's still it's the account? Like, oh, yeah. Wow, we've got to find that. It's not even Don't you like, dare delete that shit. You could die, go back and delete it. <laughs> That's gold. But I mean, it, you know, like it's a fan, like fuck it, as, as you are growing up. Um, and I do that now. I'm a grown man. I'm fucking talking yeah, about Hot Boys. Yeah, you're making a business out of it. I know, but I'm talking about Hot Boys nearly every week on my podcast. Yeah, that's true. So, true. I, nice yeah. shirt, by the way. Love Thanks. that. Thanks. Yeah, 257. Got to support the crew. How good. Everyone's so doing good. their thing. I love it. It's so, it's crazy how different it is these days, yes. eh? Hey? Just totally, it's good. It's amazing. Yeah. It's refreshing. Not um, everyone is the same. Yeah, because like when, when, when I was coming through, it was like... Mate, don't even think about yeah, it. Yeah, what are you doing? Pull your head in. <laughs> Shit. We go and drink beer and go yeah. and watch the footy. Drink beer and put shit on you because you're a rookie. Yeah. Give you trauma. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, you hate yourself. But you'll play yeah. good footy, so who cares? Yeah. Uh, uh, nah. uh, oh, good times, good times. <laughs> so so you get into rugby union. Did you? Were you enjoying, like, were you missing? Le- was, it, was it because there was only rugby union girls and there wasn't rugby league girls? Or was it because you were enjoying rugby union? Um. It's because there wasn't any rugby league for girls. Okay. I remember there was like league tag and it was so boring. I played, but it was boring. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, it took me about five years to get used to the rules. I used to get in trouble all the time. Like, yeah. Dude, you can't stay on that player. Yeah, Ooh, yeah. You have to get back. Like, so many rules. So many rules. Yeah, like, yeah. And I'd always grown up watching league, so it was so much easier and like so much simpler to mm. watch. Yeah. Like, there's so many little things in league and I mean in union and like I said a good game of union it's all right to watch but think about girls union mm. it was horrible <laughs> <laughs> but you know the mix of sevens and 15 so that's kind of where I I started playing it was more like that seven stuff in high school yep, and then okay. um, did a bit of stuff with like the youth or the Aussie stuff in high school and then mm. Haven't really played seven since because it's freaking hard. Just fitness, really. It's fitness. Yeah. It's just running mm. and speed. And if you miss one tackle, yeah, try they time. score. Yeah. You lose the game <laughs> and you're uh, suddenly playing off a fifth and sixth spot instead yeah. of going into the gold badge medal. Like, yeah. I'm like, it's, it's just true. mentally. Yeah, yeah. Sevens players. It's it is. I I, I was uh, with the Australian sevens for a little bit uh, in union. Were you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. For about fuck, worst three months of fucking. Yeah. <laughs> Worst three months of their life. Um, (coughs) But, yeah, it's surprising how much, like, it's not necessarily the fastest or the biggest or the strongest. It's the mentally tough, fit people Mm. that do really well in sevens. Um, But I I like the sevens game. I think that's quite enjoyable. But it is very tough, like, very, very tough. Um, Like, fitness-wise. I don't think physically it's that tough. Yeah, no, because it's more like that one-on-one tackle and you just, like, pop the ball up. But, yeah, the fitness Fitness is, is incredible. it'll... Undo everything. Yep. Um, okay, so so you, you, you play union for a bit. Um, and when did you get the, I guess, the first offer from the Brumby schoolgirls team? Yeah, so that was like through school, I guess. Mm. It was just like that was my closest catchment for to play footy. Yep. And then the Brumbies had like a little academy thing and so I'd go up there and yep. hitchhike and get a lift to Canberra. It was only three hours. So I was like up the Brown Mountain, let's yep. go. And I just used to do that like at least once or twice a week and yep. go up and train. And Do you remember like rocking up your first day going, wow, like this is fucking hectic. Like yeah. Like set up in that. Yeah, it was actually so sick because it was at um, Brumbies HQ. Like mm. they have like all of their stuff in the same thing and yep. we'd – obviously at different times, but train on the field and train in the gym and stuff. And I was like, okay, it was like my first kind of taste into like a semi-professional, but yeah, yeah. just environment and training and, yeah, absolutely. and like having different coaches, not just like your dad who comes <laughs> down and coaches, yeah, you yeah. know. So yeah, it was, it was really, it was like that first kind it's of. It's just so good to give you the, the taste of that semi-professional life, you know, and it's so important as we just, you just said, like there was no path for league, you know, that path for union helped so much. Yeah. Um, okay, so you start playing with the Brumbies. At what point? So, and you got offered a, uh, a university um, scholarship, yeah. Bond, Bond University? Yeah. Yeah, so I was playing rugby. Um, <coughs> I was lucky enough to um, play for Australia. And um, So, you, you played for Australia before you got the offer from Bond University? Yeah. So, what was that like, getting the call for Australia? What was it expected or what? Yeah, no, it was pretty sick. It was um, like, I remember joining the squad just after I, oh, when I was in year 12, I think, like yeah. the... Um, wider squad and then um, I played my first test match at I think I was 18 or wow. something like that. That's 18. so good. Yeah. And so you'd only been playing probably for like three or four years union yeah, at that stage? Yeah, just through high school yeah. and here and there. Like, yeah, okay. 
um, and I played flanker mm. and um, second row flanker. Um, Always a lot putting on that Australian jersey though. Yeah. That would have been a, a good moment. No, it was really sick. It, yeah. was, it was really cool. Um, we got pumped by England, but, you know, <laughs> it was fun. <laughs> it was fun. We had a good time. We had it a was a good time. And then, um, yeah, that was like a, a, a Four Nations uh, tournament over in New Zealand um, in for a selection for the World Cup. So, yeah. Yeah, and then we had the World Cup in Ireland, and this no was way. All, this was 2017. Yeah, how good's that? Um, yeah, it was. What do you remember from the the what, what's been your biggest game playing for Australia for Union? Ooh, that's a hard one. The World Cup probably. I mean, first World Cup game. Or? Yeah, first World Cup game was pretty big. It was against Ireland, I think. Um, oh, I don't know. They're all pretty like I would say New Zealand, but like. We get pumped against New Zealand. <laughs> like we go and play Bledisloe Cup, and it's like, I hope for the best. That's like their best. That's it. That's the national they're just sport. So good, man. Yeah. So it's kind of a bit deflating when you. What's What's pumped. the best memory you have from Union in that kind of World Cup? Something that you yeah, remember on the field? Um, God, on the field, I don't really know. On the field, it's more off the field. Off the field. <laughs> it was good fun. Yeah, it was, yeah. Um, yeah, just me, like. <laughs> It's my like first year out of school, and it was like, okay, this is really sick. It's just a travel. With, How like, good's that? Yeah, so sick. Just um, with a new bunch of girls and staff, and you know, there's so many of us, and we just like around in in Ireland and just travelled around in different places. Yeah. So How long were you over there for? Uh, like five weeks, I think. Four wow. or five weeks. Yeah. How good's that? It was so. It was unreal. And so, did you travel to Europe as well, like when you had time off or anything? So a lot of the girls did, and but I had to come back because I'd had I was with Bond Uni and I had to play in this sevens tournament. Oh. I know how's this though? First, like I fucked my shoulder when I was over at World Cup, but yeah. came back and played, and then first game injured my shoulder. Oh my god! And I had to get surgery, and I was like, "This is what you get instead of travelling Europe. And oh you're back here playing god. sevens, hating life." Wow, and seeing the, all the photos of the girls yeah, the and girls that. Yeah, the girls are still in Europe, and yeah. I'm like sick. I'm gonna book myself. Is it a full surgery. rico? Yeah, it was a rotator cuff repair. So yeah. Like, so what? They they clamp the ball down. Yeah, and they're just like now it's like yeah, I'm lucky to go past there. Love yep. that. Sitting on the couch like yeah, that and doing literally. all the band work yeah. and that torture, <laughs> torture. Um, okay, so so you you get the what was it like? You know, having a scholarship at Bond and you know being on a sports scholarship. What did you study? Um, I studied sports management, so yep. business sports management, um, and then quickly realised that you don't really need a degree for that no, because no, no, no. <laughs> I would like go to different places and organisations <coughs> mm. and like through sport, obviously having those connections, and they're like, "Yeah, you're kind of doing a nothing degree." I'm like, "Yeah, thanks a lot." So, well, like, what could they really teach you? You know, like well, what? Like, I don't know. It was. It was a beautiful university and I Bronze, loved it. Bronze, such oh, a good university. It was like I was in rich people. Princeton or something. Yeah, and they're all rich. I'm from the Gold Coast and like yeah. I couldn't afford to go to Bond, that's for sure. Oh, nobody can. Yeah, I, that's I crazy. wouldn't go there. But mm. the worst part is it's like they've got the beautiful fountains outside so and beautiful. it's nice. But like it's such a nice day. I don't want to come to class. I just want to go to the beach or something. hundred <laughs> percent. So yep. I didn't really it's I mean I'm like glad I went, but I'm I'm not like uni. Yeah. Uni Avenue. It's not like you're standing out the side going, go to uni, everyone. Yeah, no. Nah, Have, haven't ever, uni. never done that once? Never. So you've never sat on the side of the street and be like, go to uni, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Only once. <but> okay. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Um, okay, so you, at what point, so you play in the World Cup. Um, at what point did you start kind of looking, and then you play for the Queensland Red Super Rugby team. Mm. Was there always a thought in your back of your head that I want to play league or were you starting to really enjoy the rugby system being with the Reds and that? I was really enjoying rugby um, and I, a lot of my friends were playing league at the time though as well. So I had a lot of, like, a lot of friends in rugby and then mm. it's kind of like, oh, what do I do? Mm. Um, and I, I wanted to come over and play league and I remember seeing the – it was 2018, which is conveniently when I had my shoulder surgery <laughs> from rugby um, And so that's – 2018 was when the NRLW started mm. – um, and I remember watching that and I was like, damn, that looks so sick. I don't yeah. even want to watch it So, because I'm so jealous. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, part of it. I was like, yep. I've been like playing footy for whatever code, like all this time and now they've got this comp in and I'm yeah. just like watching it sucked. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But um, yeah, I think that was kind of like, okay, next year when I'm recovered and mm. rehabbed all good, I want to um, give it a crack. So. Okay. So it was 2018, 2017 it got introduced, did you say? Um, 2018 it got introduced. introduced. And that was when you did your shoulder. Yeah. 
um, but you still played in 2019 for the Reds? Yep, so the start of the season, like like rugby's at the start of the season, so yep. I played um, Reds 2019 and then just before a test match, I think, we had like some test matches against Japan. Mm. Um, there was actually Origin and I got picked for this Origin team and I was like, oh, Origin. For oh, origin for Union? League. Oh, for League? I was playing League as well. Oh, okay, okay, so yeah, you're playing sorry, both. Sorry, yeah, sorry, I was playing both. Yeah. But I was playing Reds and I was playing like Burley Bears. I okay. got picked for Origin. I was like, hey guys, I'll be away next week. I'm yeah. playing League. Yeah. They get a bit weird about it, so I'm like, yeah, see ya. Yeah. Um, so I went and played that and then um, came back and played, we had some test matches against Japan mm. and then Bledisloe, some games against New Zealand. Yeah. And then I just went straight into Broncos. So when you played Origin for League, was that where you're like, look, I, I, this is what I want to do? Yeah, honestly, I was like, oh, my God, this is so sick. Like, yeah, okay. It was – I couldn't believe how well we were treated. Mm. Like, no disrespect to rugby, but <clears> – <throat> Semi professionally. It was just so cool. I was like, yep. a week, it was just fun. It was just, here's all your kit. Like, we're lucky to get, like, <laughs> sorry, I always say, I don't want to diss rugby. Yeah. Like, oh my God, thank you so much for this training show. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Or they just not, not they just didn't have the same, same resources. Yeah. And <laughs> it was like, obviously, I was like, Queensland, red. So that's like, you, your equivalent to origin. Like, you can't, you kind of. But I was like, this is so sick. So, mm. and don't get me wrong, I love rugby and I love, Everything in the Yeah, it's just not as developed as just league wasn't is. As developed, yeah. yeah, okay. Um, and then Broncos stuff came up, and I was, and I just, I loved it. Like, mm. I just loved the bunch of girls. I remember like walking in on my first day, and like my locker was next to Ali Brigginshaw. I'm like, oh my god, this is a gun. Ali Brigginshaw, gun. And uh, yeah, it was. She's a seven for Australia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah she's, she's a gun. Um, okay, so first day, it was so so the origin is what tipped the scale, and then you go to the Broncos. And this, so this would have been 2019 you're at the yeah. Broncos. Um, and that season for you guys, so you would already won 2018? Yeah. So this was, this was so you could go back to back, correct? Yeah. Um, what was the season like for you? You know, like as running on for you, as you're, f you're wearing the Broncos jersey, like what's that feeling like for you? Yeah, it was unreal. <laughs> it was um, obviously, I know, I know there's not many teams in the comp, but um, yeah, it was just so exciting to be a part of a, an organisation and a club that was yeah. so passionate and, and proud and, had done a lot of work at developing new players and mm. um yeah we just always had such a good time at training and mm. we were just super pumped to get out there i remember just before that we actually went over to png and played um against their national team just oh, to, really? like, for a little trial yeah. game and that was something else but, like, so um, did, they, did they get a big crowd there yeah it wow. was crazy it was um there's a lot of people there all over it shows how much they love, they love footy. It. and they were like man they were Big peep, big players. Mm. Like as in the girls were the big as girls. As in the girls were yep. big and like making really good runs and yep. bumping us off. Just and I like was played like played aggressive. Played aggressive, and the crowd were getting so behind them. It was mm. awesome. How good is that? PNG. If there's some way that we can like you know bring them more bring into in, the national I know. league, it'd be their so good. Their fans are next level. Crazy. Uh, everyone that goes there, like all the boys that go for prime ministers and that, they're always like, it's honestly. You like you yep. get in a bus, okay? Yep. So like Corey Parker, he was one of our coaches. Yeah. And um, we got in the bus as we got off and they kind of warned us and like said like what it'll be like. Anyway, and we get out of the um, airport onto the bus and there's all, everyone's running and chasing the bus and going, Koi Paka, Koi Paka, take a photo, I take a photo with you. How good. Like they love, and the they love Cosa. the Broncos. Like yeah. they love um, that. So we, um, the old boys played after us yep. before, whatever I think was. they sent so me an email about that, that um <sighs> The old boys and that, and no, I just no, no. didn't have time to go across. But oh. I, de I sh actually st I strongly considered it, but I was like, oh, it was that. so much fun, yeah. and it was like so sick seeing all those guys like yep. just, just chuck on a jersey and play Crazy. footy. And the great Cosa pa Cosa Parker, Cosa Parker, <coughs> Cosa Parker. <laughs> um, okay, so that that year leading into the back to back, who, who was probably your biggest challenges? Was it the Roosters or who was your, the toughest team or the Warriors? Um, the Warriors have it? Yeah, the Warriors actually beat us in one of the round games. Yeah, um, but we'd already. It wasn't by enough and we'd already qualified yep. for the grand final but um so they like it was like one of the last round games so they mm. were just like they weren't going to make it in and it was like they just played as hard as they could and yep. and as good as they could and we got a bit complacent obviously mm. and they just they got you they got it so that was your and only only loss of the season yeah wow it was like eight ten i think it was yep. so it was a close game but we were dirty as which yep. is good because fired us up for Mo final. Got you motivated for the GF. Yeah. So going into the GF, what's the um, what's the chat like with the pickers? It's a back to back, you know, like it's 
that's extra pressure. You know what I mean? It's like you got pressure for a grand final, then you got the pressure of like we need to do it again. So who'd you play in the grand final? Um, it was <coughs> against St George actually. St George. St George. And yeah. so what was the, the feeling like running out to your first like you, you know you'd grown up loving footy, you get your first opportunity and you get a grand final. Was it at Suncorp? Um, it, no, it was it was before the men's, so it was in Sydney. Wow, before yeah. the men's grand final. Before the men's grand final. How yeah, we played just before. So um, yeah, it was it was sick. It was yeah. like um, yeah, we'd obviously prepared well and yeah. um, had a lot of trust and faith in our team, and mm. we just had a lot of fun with it. And like I said, it's a short season, but we just knew that you have to be on for that whole time. Otherwise, yeah. like sleeping and you lose and you're out. Like, yeah. like it's not. You big can't afford to, to lose can't like two, three You've games. Got to be Turn up and and um, be on all the so time. So, what do you remember most from that game? Um, it was a it was a close game. Not a close game. Sorry, we actually flogged them. <laughs> 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 sorry, um, no. But Vinny, our hooker, she got out and scored this like sick try from hooker, like within the first couple of minutes, and we were just like, shit, yeah, Vinny, like, yeah, we're on here. and she kind of hadn't done that through the season. It was yeah. like she just backed herself and just went bang, and then I think we got a quick one after that, and then we're like all right, let's just have a bit of fun here. Like, yep. no disrespect to St. George, but it was mm. like, we've put in the hard work all year. Like, it's not just those those couple of weeks and it's mm. not the, whatever that competition is. Like, you play all year with yeah. your club yep. in your state comps. Like, yeah. do the pre-season there, you play mm. in that. Like, yep. you have finals. Like, it's a big competition and it finishes just after origin kind of thing. So, yep. like, it goes, like... Five months there, and then yep. you're playing there. So you're thinking of all of that, like as well. everything you've done to get there, and then mm. this is the kind of the pinnacle at the end. So um, yeah, I mean, it was it was a good game, and it, we came up against a lot of our players that we played with before, yeah. and um, um, Kezi and Jess and 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 Keely and whatnot. Yep. So yeah, it's it's, heart, it's heartbreaking to see them them, them lose, them lose but, but also it's better seeing. <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> you know, absolutely. yeah, no, but it was it was a, it was a good game, and I think we just came out with our best game for the yeah. season and the game. And so, what was the celebrations like? Yeah, it was sick. It yeah. was really cool. I remember we got out. Actually, we had these. Um, we got back into the sheds, and Cosa had these shirts, like a big box of the like premiers shirts, yeah. and he's like ripping them open and he's like hey does anyone need a spare shirt anyone and he ripped them open he's like because i got all <laughs> How like good. it was just so sick Fuck and there was like oh. beer and drinks and what yeah. everything just going crazy and it was yeah. like just the best feeling it was such a buzz like yeah. we've got this photo of us all just like um cheering and like going, yeah and it's actually at cosa about to get these shirts out like it was so good so sick and, it and like you know you got a club legend celebrating with yeah. a grand final win um what was the what was the drinks like after it where, where did you go just um oh, where did we go i think we were we stayed in sydney that night mm. we we're staying at sus hotel so it was like pretty sick in the yep. city um i think we went back to back to where we were and then we went out to the cast and mm. who just won the raiders just lost so Roosters won. Roosters won. Yep. That's it. And um, it was like yeah, six again, six right? Again. <laughs> yeah, it was like oh, um, but we kind of would like pretty pass it by that point. We're just like yeah. so stoked. But yeah. um, no, we went out and then it was like pretty early getting back home. And then we went back to flew back to Brizzy. Oh, uh-huh. what's that flight like? Painful. It was painful. Yeah. yeah, it was like wow. Yeah. Um, but we uh, the next day we had Mad Monday at Cos's house, so it was actually oh, no sick. way the sickest setup in the middle of like nowhere. Um, <laughs> That's crazy. Is we I'm pretty sure like one Mad Monday we had when we were playing. One of, some of the boys went back to Cos's and they fucking did a number. Let's just say that <laughs> did a number, and I'll, I'll leave it at that. Yeah. Right. Read into that what you will. Oh, well. Did a number. <laughs> Think about what I just said. It's um no, he's got a great setup there. Though. <coughs> have you been there? Oh, I didn't go there. You didn't go. Well, I was so. So they came back to our house, trashed it, and then they went somewhere else. Yeah, right. It was great times. Good I times. hadn't played in NRL at that stage. I was I – actually, I might have made my debut, but I wasn't obviously, like, you know, yeah. established first grader. So right. we were the shit kickers that if we're going to go trash someone's house, we're going to go trash your house, and they came and trashed our house. Yeah. Then we had to pay for all the damages. Yeah. <laughs> That's so. – you earn your stripes. Yeah. That? Yeah. yeah. Um, but <laughs> I'm thinking back of now, I've got – PTSD from it, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> no. Should have just went to Cos's house. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> okay, so you win that year, and so what's the feeling like coming into the next year? So this is 2020. Now, was did you, did the season go ahead last year, or it didn't go ahead? No, it did. It did for um, 
Broncos. Yes. So yeah, it was just small. It was just okay. a small. Season. Oh, it was yeah, but you sh- much much shorter, correct? It was just the same as it was what it was. So it was like. But the you didn't have the local stuff though. It was, but just sh- shorter. Okay, Everything okay, was okay. just short. It was okay. just like short, short, short. Okay. Um, so it was like, I think in June they were like, all right, yep, we're back, let's go. So we played at like our small comp. It was yep. probably like seven, eight weeks. It was pretty small mm. just with our state stuff and then went straight into NLW stuff and then straight into Origin. It was like bang, bang, bang. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So so you still got to play in the local and the, bro- in the yep. Origin, but it was just way condensed kind yeah, of thing. Yeah. Um, and then was, you played the Roosters in the grand final. Yeah. What was the um, the chat like? Because obviously Charlotte Caslet came across, mm. and she's a big name in in yeah. women's sport. What was the chat like about that? Yeah. No, it was awesome to see um, a couple of the sevens girls come across. Yeah. Um, Elia and Varney to Warriors, and mm. Mm. and Charlotte to the Roosters, and um, and we've got a couple of girls that uh, had played sevens and and know Charlotte and whatnot. So yeah, it was it was it was good, and they were. Pretty confident. We were confident. So yep. it was like both made the grand final. She had actually – she did something to her back. She, like, had an injury. So she actually didn't play in the grand final. She missed the GF, yeah. She missed the GF. But she played but in the games leading up, though, Yeah, correct? in the games yep. leading up. And she was amazing. Mm. Like, you can chuck her in any position. She's just such a good footballer. Yeah. Like, freakishly good. One of the best sevens players in the world. And yep. she's, like, running around it, whether it's – centre or full back or half yep. or wherever. Like, yeah, it's awesome to see other girls. It's – Cool to see that our game's appealing yeah. for players that are in a professional environment, you know, like... In union, in yeah, absolutely. Because those girls sevens. get paid full time. Or yeah, some of them get time. paid full time, yeah. yeah. So, um, no, it was awesome to see that it open up and hopefully this year, at the end of the... After the Olympics, the girls mm. that miss out and the girls that come back yep. want to jump in and play a couple of games. And so, 2020, against the Roosters, you win 20 to 10. Um, so, a much closer final. Mm. What was what was the, What do you remember from that game? It's a very close game. It was a bit wet. Yeah. Um, I was thinking it was a beautiful day on the Gold Coast. We were doing the fly in, fly out like on the same day because of COVID. So mm. we were, like living in our house and then just going straight in. And it was such a nice sunny day. We came down, rainy, windy, Ugh. overcast. Yeah. Like, Damn it. Um, but I remember it got to it was like half time and it was like twelve ten and we're mm. like, come on guys, what are we doing? Like. Yeah. It was a close. It was just a really close game, and yep. they were really competitive, and we were just not playing our best footy. And yep. um, but yeah, got there in the end, and I, yeah, we were eight points up for a fair bit of the way at the end. So we were kind of like just kind of sitting and like, okay, let's just defensively, we can't let them shut score. the game out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But um, yeah, had some awesome players step up in that. Yeah. Um, Amber Hall won like every freaking award at, by the end of that. Really? Yeah, she's uh, from she's a. a New Zealand player. Okay. Um, oh, so and what she did she, she come across? She plays Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yep. And um, yeah, she's just such a a gun. Gun. Yeah, she's. Awesome. She, so she came across in two thousand twenty. Um, no, 2019. 2019. 2019. Yeah. Okay. And um, I just remember her being such a standout. Like, yep. Come on, Millie, I need you. I'm like, oh, I'm done. I'm hurting. But you're a front rower, so like you get you can do <laughs> you can get away with a lot of the front row because you get through all the hard work. <laughs> so the what was the celebrations like? It was actually um, not as good because oh, COVID. COVID yeah. So ah. like we didn't even get to. I think I actually had to stay because I went straight into state of origin camp, yep. and that was New South Wales, and mm. my team were obviously Queensland. So they literally couldn't even watch the men's game. Mm. They had to get on a flight no and way. go straight back to. So they missed the NRL grand final. They missed it. They would have like got off the plane, like checking the score, getting on KO, you know, oh, just watching right. it. Like it was because they were private planes. Because yeah, couldn't like. Oh uh, yep, yeah, because you couldn't. And we had to do the two it? weeks, yep. and so yeah. That sucks. It did suck. <laughs> um, and so, 2019, uh, you won NRL Women's Rookie of the Year. What did you? Obviously, was it a surprise or you know? Because there would be a lot of rookies coming through each year because it's so new. Yeah. What was when you when you named? Was it an award ceremony or anything? Um, I think it, they like announced it and gave it um, at the grand final like beforehand. It oh, was really? really? Weird. Yeah. Okay. Um, but yeah, it was it was awesome. It was like what? How good's that? Um, yeah, and like you said, there's a lot of people that are, that are coming through, and um, I'd obviously been playing rugby union as well, so like I didn't really feel like a like a rookie in that sense because I'd come across from another sport. But yep. I guess it was my first year in the NRW, so yep. um, I guess it could have went to a lot of people. But yeah. I mean, and best forward for the Broncos too. Yeah, God. How good Jeez, is that? what are you reading off? <laughs> Mate, oh, look, I, I know all about your career. Come on now. Yeah. Um, so so you also represent Australia um, 
you make your test debut in 2019 mm. against New Zealand, 28-4, 28 win, sorry. Mm. What, like your test debut against New Zealand, you're used to getting pumped by New Zealand because in Union, yeah. so you come to league. <laughs> what, what, what do you remember from that game? Yeah, I think it was like, when was it? It was just after the nines and we had actually just lost to them in the final. So we played World oh, Cup really? nines at Oh, Bankfest. I remember watching that. Yes, I remember watching and that, yes. like we played them in our first, we played them in the first game and um, we pumped them. We played so well. It was like, great, easy. Mm. And then we come against them in the final yep. and we just, too complacent. Yep. It's a game of nines and it's kind of like seven. Like if you miss something, you're yeah. like, it's gone and... They just got the better of us, unfortunately, and we were really angry about that, like yep. so upset about that, um, and used that to kind of about, yeah. really um, get to our guns for the, for the test match. And yeah, it was... What was it like running out for your first test match with the Australian jersey on? Yeah, it was awesome. It was um, at Wollongong, at, um, down at whatever the stadium is there. Uh, Wind Stadium. Wind Stadium, yep, yep. yep. Had all the fam there, so that was really cool. And mm. um, running out next to your best mates, like that is the best part. Like, yeah. these are the people that you've um, have become your best friends because you see them all the time. Mm. You train with them, you play with them, you play against them, and then like doing something that you've wanted to do for so long yeah. with your best mates is like, yeah, just the best it's feeling, the best. isn't it? Seeing and then the celebrating as well after, like getting a win together. Yeah, yeah, it's literally the best. Yeah. Um, okay, so going into this year, you know, like. So you guys haven't started playing yet? Because you're expanding no, the comp. Yeah, yeah the yep. comp's expanding. A couple more teams in this year. Yeah. Um, we'll start pre-season, just start, like, start of July, mid, start mid, to, mid of July yep. um, after Origin. So, yep. yeah. And so how many teams are – so Gold Coast are coming in, Newcastle's Gold coming in? Gold Coast are coming in. There's going to be six teams, Gold Coast, um, Newcastle and Parramatta. Mm. Um, but – the Warriors aren't playing anymore. Oh, they pulled out really? this year just because, like, with COVID and everything. Yeah, okay. Um, that sucks. So, yeah. The, there's the six teams now. They're and so, how are they going with distributing the talent to the new teams? Yeah, it's a bit tricky. I mean, I think because it's been left so, like, late and they're kind of implementing, like, a um, talent equalisation system. And, yep. like, I can 100% understand why and... and, and why we need to do it and the benefits yeah, of it. And because like Broncos and have won three premierships in a yeah, way. Yeah, look, and I know, and people are like, what does is, what is the comp look like if the Broncos win again? Yeah. Like, it's only been going for three, four years. And they've won every comp. But, you know, if you're playing for the Broncos, you still want to win. Like, yeah, absolutely. Like, you, you can look at the broader scale things, but at the same time, like, on a personal level, like, that's, that's your team. That's who you're playing for. That's all your friends. That's what you're working towards. Exactly. And, um, I, like, obviously with the Titans coming in this year and there's... You know, people want the people on the Gold Coast to live to play yeah. for the Titans, and like if it was vice versa though, like if I was living in Brisbane and playing for the Titans, and mm. then we were doing well, and then Brisbane got a team, yeah, like I wouldn't go and play for Brisbane just because they're a new team. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Like absolutely, I love the Broncos. And no, no girls are on full time yet. No, no girls are on full time. So no it's girls are on full time. So it's a very tough ask to expect the girls yeah. to um. Everyone can see why, yeah. but it's also like, all right, well, who's the person that makes the sacrifice? And then, like, you make the sacrifice, you go down, you still get tailed up. Yeah. <laughs> and then <laughs> like, you're like, oh, well, I'm, yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm glad I helped everyone. My yeah. career's over. Yeah, thanks a lot. <laughs> now <laughs> so I'm it sore is tough. And sad. <laughs> it's, yeah, yeah, exactly. It, it is really tough. Like, I can understand from a perspective of if the girls were full time. I know that costs money and I, yeah. and I get that, but we've got to start somewhere. Yeah. If the girls are full time, the. the the ask would be way easier, yeah. you know, because then you could say, look, this is professional, you're getting paid, yeah. this is where you need to be, but very hard to ask yeah. girls to work when they're, they're getting paid. When it's paid. a couple of months, like, yeah, and, you know, you just want to play, like, would have you went and changed clubs, like, would have Cameron Smith gone and changed clubs just because, like, yeah. you know, there's a new team that's come in that's closer to him and yeah. that he's doing really well at the Storm, like. Yeah, it would, in the Storm, of, like, it's like the Roosters squad after they won back-to-back. Yeah going oh well actually because you go and say well we actually need you to go and sign yeah. somewhere else um yeah it, but, but it's actually even worse than that because they're getting paid full time and a yeah. lot of money whereas you guys aren't getting pulled, paid full time yeah. so it's fucking so tough but you can see where they're coming from as yeah, well Yeah, 100 percent. that's the thing it's like i can see where you're coming from but mm. i don't uh like i, like I just want to i want to do what i want to do yeah. i want to play where i want to play i want to play with my team <laughs> yeah that's it um so when when does so you've got Origin kicking off Friday, and that's a three series, correct? No, it's only one, one series. It'd be really cool if there was three. I just, really? 
don't see the point in one. I mean, yeah. I love it, obviously. I yeah. want to play one game, yes. Yeah. But, like, wouldn't, wouldn't it Is be it cool? more just resources? That's why they, 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 they're trying to get... Like, I don't know, resources and viewings and broadcasting. Mm. But, like, if it's one of the highest watched games for females sport, yeah. like, wouldn't you put three of them on and cut NRLW mm. back? Yeah, it's a good point. And, and also, like, maybe you only televise one or yeah. something, you know, or, or whatever. Play it anywhere. Um, yeah, that is that. That's I get. Look, I guess it's you know growing pains, all it's growing pains. pains. Um, so you play one game on Friday. So when does the the women's league start? Um, that's a good question. Well, let's say it starts in I don't know, four or five like, weeks. Yeah, let, yeah. Have you started training together as a squad? No, okay. not as a squad. So you still got a preseason. Twelfth of July, preseason starts. Okay, sweet. So yeah. so you go into state of origin without like any training. Yeah. Oh well, like, like we just come team. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. We've literally, I'll see them tomorrow. I'm like, hey, what's up? What's I haven't up? seen you since last Origin. <laughs> so do you, what about local league then? Yeah, like you play local league. Oh, so when know. does local league start? Oh. No, 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 no. Um, <laughs> when, back. When, when, when the NRL season start? starts? Yeah, like, yeah, okay. well, like April, March, April. March. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. okay. So you, you've been playing for how many, like t- 10 rounds or so, so yeah. far. Okay, so what, what's the local league? Like, How many teams are in the local league for you guys on the Gold Coast? Um, we've actually cut down because we've made it more of like, we're kind of like under like a Q Cup kind of thing, which yeah. is um, instead of being South East Queensland, we now play teams like North Queensland, oh, how good's Central that? Queensland. That's like sick. it goes right from up, up there to like Tweed. So yeah. I play with the Burley Bears. Yep. Um, there's a lot of Brisbane teams. There's eight teams now, but it's yeah. more quality. Like, yeah, that's cool. Because you're getting the best out of each area. Yeah. So, yeah, we actually had our grand final last weekend. So Did you win? We won. How good. Ooh. Billy it's Bears good. on Billy top. Bears. Who'd you play? Yeah. Uh, Valley Diehards. Where, where are they from? Um, Brisbane. Scotty is Prince is uh, coaching. Ali but Brig, captain. The va- oh, so you got one yeah, over her. Got one over her. Oh, shit. It was actually Tamika Upton at the end coming through with a try. Really? Got us up. But you laid the platform. Game. You laid the platform. I wouldn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> so when, so that, that's... That good old play the ball before the try. <laughs> <laughs> hey, someone's got to do it. Someone's got to do it. That's funny because when you go to like the Broncos training, you've, you've played each other recently. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, so if everything happens perfectly in the next 12 months... Actually, no, we'll speak about the Origin game. Do, do you feel you have a better team this year than last year? Um, it's pretty similar. Yep. Um, I think every year it gets better for some reason. Mm. You just kind of think because it's it, it it goes on who's in form and, yeah. and who's been playing good footy and obviously your staffing and everything. But yeah, I'm pretty confident with our team. Like everyone's great athletes and mm. everyone's really ready for it and loves Origin. So yeah. like it's like they just switch on and, and yeah. take it to a new level. So mm. I, I'm really excited for that. And yeah, it'll, it'll be good to get into camp tomorrow and just like. Suss out the vibe. Yep. It's usually pretty good. The first day is always exciting. Yeah. Um, so so it's on a Friday night at what state? It's Friday night at Sunshine Coast Stadium. Sunshine Coast Stadium. Yep. How good. So anyone in the Queensland area, get down get there. Get down there. Um, chuck it on the TV. You know, yep. just chuck it up. Is it on, on KO? Yeah, it'll be on KO. Yeah, how good. So it's on, on Fox, not it's on, on Fox. 9? It'll be on 9. It'll be on 9 as well? Yeah. Okay, good stuff. Just chuck it on all of them. Chuck them on. Literally have just five like TVs in front of you. Yep. I agree. And watch it. I'm going to stream Please. it. And I don't even care if you don't actually watch it. Just I'm going to stream on. it and I'm going to be like, Yo. with Millie Boyle. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so the next 12 months, if everything happens perfectly, where are you and what are you doing? The next 12 months, hopefully with um, footy, just like keep out of keep out of injuries and keep mm. out of rehab, mm. um, keep playing Bronx at the end of the year, mm. hopefully we win. So you w- you definitely want to stay at the Broncos? Like, yeah, okay. yep, that's like where my loyalty lies, wow. Broncos, love Broncos. Um, it's going to be like, who's going to make the move, holy uh, shit. I don't know, it'll be good to see, yeah. like, I'm really excited to mm. see like what happens. Blake Green, he's coaching Newcastle, Yeah. Yep. Um, he's a legend, like. Yeah, he's a gun, knows his shit. If I wasn't playing at Broncos, mm. I'd be like. Yo, I'm coming down to play at the night. 100%. How is that? Um, anyway, what was I saying? The, in the next 12 oh, months. Oh, 12 months. Yep. I don't know. Another premiership? Another premiership. Um, I've actually got a couple of weddings at the end of the year. Really excited. Oh, yes, yes. yes. So, so uh, weddings. What do you mean mm, you've got a sorry. couple of... I've never heard someone say they've got a couple yeah, of weddings. I know. How's, Usually a bad sign. I know, but how's the other day? Sorry. Backtrack. Okay. I said to someone, oh, yeah, no, nah, she's a cool chick. I'm marrying her at the end of the year. <laughs> And someone genuinely thought that's a weird way to describe someone you're marrying. Yeah, yeah. Um, and cool thought chick. I was like getting married to Yasmin, my teammate. 
I'm like, no, no. I'm her. He like didn't realize, but like five hours later, I'm like, no, I'm a celebrant. So, so how I'm did no you become celebrant. a celebrant? Yeah. Um. So I went to a wedding. It was actually Isabel Kelly's wedding in 2020. <laughs> and she plays for Australia and New South Wales. Yep. She's a center. Yep. Yeah. That's her, Isabel Kelly. Um, I think I was a last minute invite. I was like, stoked, I'll come. You. Yeah. She's like, yeah, come on down. It's pretty chill. And I remember her celebrant and I was like, I don't know, I could do that. <laughs> there wasn't really any reason. It was just like, oh, like they kind of all look, no offence, like a bit older, mm. retired. Yeah. They're not bringing they're the energy that need to really be brought. They're not bringing the energy. <laughs> everyone's so nervous about getting married. And yeah. Everyone's kind of just waiting to get pissed anyway, like yeah. when they're watching and <laughs> just waiting to go up to the thing. Yeah. Like, let's get a bit of fun in here. Let's get a bit of cheering. But yeah. woo woo, she walked down the aisle. <laughs> And um, yeah, it was Izzy's wedding and I was like, I'm going to look into that. Yeah. And um, here I am. So you're a fully qualified celebrant. Yeah. celebrant. Yes. And so you, so anyone that's looking to get married, you can be married by Millie Boyle. You can be married by Millie Boyle. Wow. Yes. I know, it's actually freaky. I kind of say I'm a lawyer, but I'm not. It's just like I mean, you got more lawyer. power than a lawyer. Marriage is they can't, for life. And it's sad. Marry, lawyers can't actually marry anyone. I mean, lawyers they don't have a good reputation. <laughs> I don't want to be married by a lawyer, that's for sure. It's almost like, yeah, it's not the, the, the vibe. It's just not the vibe. You, yeah, you want to have fun at a wedding. Yeah, but it's all about love and that. Like, lawyers are not about love. They're about no. taking your shit. Yeah, like parking inspectors. Oh, <laughs> has that got to be the worst gig in the world? Absolutely. How does, and if there are any parking inspectors out there listening, don't think there are. But, like, I'm what sure makes one. you want to be a parking inspector? Well, I mean, inspector? I'm sh- it's a cruisy job. Is it's it just though? like, but, like, th- it's their job, so you can't blame them. But, like, imagine, like, I've seen so many people and I've done it myself. You know, you're running up to the parking meter, you're running up to the guy. But they like, get in trouble if they I'm don't so meet sorry. their quotas. It's, uh, it's, it's honestly, it's one of the worst gigs in the world because no matter what you do, you're going to be disliked. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, I had, so I was parked, <laughs> I was parked, like, there's this, like, s- tiny lane next to where I live. And I was, and it's like a lane, like, you know, there's, like, side lanes, but then there's a road that comes through. So, it's not an yeah. intersection. But it's... But that you, you can go through on a tiny lane. Yeah. So I was parked like three metres back from the corner there. Yeah. And there's no sign saying you can't. There's no line saying you can't. You're allowed to park there. I got two $350 fines because I wasn't 10 metres away from the intersection. Stop but it's it. a back street. It's not a That's fucking... That's not even a law. I mean, uh, like, it's a it's a law for legit inter- like big intersections. Yeah. You can't park. But it was like a back street of where? Was it Sydney? Yeah, Alexandria. There you go. It's Crazy. Sydney. Dogs. It wouldn't happen on the Goldie. I'm waiting for him to egg him. <laughs> two, but why two? Well, I parked there again. You did thinking, it again? No, no, but I, I parked there further back the next time. <laughs> Ten meters. Thinking, okay, it's just some Derek that's had a bad day. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah, no. One time. Not a bad but day. Two times. Full blown Derek. I just had faith in humanity. I'm sorry that I thought like, better you know of the what? bloke. I thought I'm he could be it. better. I'm killing it now. Oh, no, just no, no, no. I'm this. just a battler doing his best. It's <laughs> a battler doing his best. Spending 300 bucks a pop on a parking fine. dollars oh, yeah. fucking. And it, that's what's crazy as well. It's such a big parking fine. The normal one, if you park... 110. It's a, yeah, 100 and whatever. This one's fucking... Anyway, whatever. It is, it is what it is. Oh, God, if you are yeah. the guy that did it... Calm down. Don't come down because I'm going to tell you up. <laughs> yeah, you're getting towed up. Um... Uh, okay, uh, favourite rapper of all time? Rapper? Yes. Oh, you've put me on the spot there. Can I say, um, oh, like Eminem, yeah. Eminem? Yeah. Fuck, everyone says Eminem. Does he's they, the goat. He, well, he is. Like, yeah. He's carrying us white people. He is really carrying white people. <laughs> and there's a lot to carry. Yeah. There's a lot of cringe stuff that we do <laughs> and he's carrying it. So thank you, Eminem. We appreciate yeah, it. Favourite movie of all time? Favourite movie. I'm going... I'm going to say, I love um, Crazy Stupid Love. That one with... Um, yeah, I know what it is with what uh, is? Steve Carroll and yes. Ryan, Ryan Gosling. Gosling. How good is that? that it, is, it is a good twist movie. Twist at the end, you're like, oh, it's his, it's his daughter. And oh, I forgot together. the twist. Thanks for ruining it for me. Okay, I was mind. like literally planning to watch that with the missus. I was like, can't wait to watch <laughs> Crazy Stupid Love <laughs> no, with you. Like so date good. night, everything. But now we can't because you okay, ruined well you it. Okay, you didn't say that, did you? No, but that's what I was going to say when I got home. Well, you knew he was in the movie. Yeah, I knew, but I don't know the twist at the end. Okay, well, never mind. Maybe I was just lying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I hate spoilers, man. They fucking, like when people spoil <laughs> stuff online, yeah. you're the scum of the earth. You're yeah. worse than tickets. Sorry, that's like when I'm trying to like, 
watch the rest of the game and bloke in the bars posted the score straight away. I'm like, no, I, no, ah, don't be angry at me. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Don't be angry at me. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, wouldn't watch a game late. I just watch uh, it. Yeah, that's on you. That's You're on not me. a true fan. You're not I'm a true kidding. fan. Um, <laughs> but that is funny. Like, footy spoilers. Do we need to start putting footy spoilers up? <laughs> footy spoiler, the Broncos beat Rabbitohs. I mean, that wouldn't be so we, yeah. <laughs> Oh, fuck, here we go. He's a, he's a Rabbitohs fan. Oh, fuck big game. Hell. Oh, Mate, few things there. Honestly. Um, uh, that's it. Thank you, it. thank you so much for coming on. Good luck in Origin. Uh, and what a career so far. And good luck with the rest of your career. Thank you so much for having me. I've loved it. Boom. Done. <laughs>